Find out where to pet your pet correctly. Have you ever wondered if your dog likes to be petted? Recently, the theory of the American writer Gary Chapman on the five languages of love has gained fame. Roughly speaking, what she proposes is that people express their love in five different ways. According to the theory, one of the major problems is that the love language of a subject is not always understood by the other and vice versa. Although it was not designed to describe relationships between different species, it is possible to translate transpose the theory to think about our relationship with dogs. In this sense, many tutors really like to hug and caress the pet and believe that, with this, they are showing their love. But do dogs understand that way too? Yes, dogs really like to receive affection. But why do dogs like affection? There are those who say that dogs don't really like affection. They just tolerate the demonstration of love in order to get something in return, be it a treat or the simple good humor of the tutor. But just look at the little face they make when we caress the area just below their ears to know that this is far from the truth. For dogs, petting is like a massage that can even help them relax. Some dogs like to receive affection so much that, many times, this can even end up serving to replace the treat as a reward to reinforce desired behaviors. Also, caressing where the dog likes affection the most is very important to strengthen the bond between pet and tutor, as well as talking to him. Be aware of your dog's wishes. Not only with dogs, but in all relationships it is important to be attentive to the needs and wishes of others, trying to respect them. For example, the fact that dogs like petting does not mean that they like all kinds of petting. You need to understand where dogs like affection and where they don't. Nor do they not mind being petted at times when they would prefer to be left undisturbed such as when they are eating, napping, or sleeping. As for the types of affection for dogs, in general, they don't like being squeezed and demonstrations of affection that restrict their movements. Depending on their temperament and upbringing, they may even react to them with aggression. It is essential to know how to pet a dog in a way that pleases him, so be very attentive to children's interaction with dogs. In addition to supervising the game, teach the child to approach and caress where the dog likes to receive affection, respecting the pet's limits. In addition to petting, also look for other activities so that children can play with the dog in a safe and fun way for both of them. How to approach a dog to pet. When we are already intimate with a dog and have already created a strong bond with him, it is normal to pet him on the top of the head, on the belly, etc. However, when encountering a dog for the first time, it is essential not to go to the pot too thirsty. Even with good intentions, some movements can be seen as threatening to the pet. Have you seen a beautiful dog and really want to pet him? First of all, it's worth asking the tutor if the pet is docile and if it's okay to caress it. Then approach the dog in a calm manner, without shouting or sudden movements. Crouch down to about the dog's height and wait until he comes to you. Ideally, start with neutral petting areas such as the neck and ear area. What are the best places to pet your dog? Just like us, dogs also have preferences that vary from one individual to another. While some love to receive caresses on the tummy, which is a sign of great confidence, others prefer to receive affection in the region between the eyes, for example. In general, the favorite places for dogs to receive affection are neck, in the region just below the ears, chest, and abdomen. In this case, he might even turn over on his back for you to pet him. Identifying whether or not the dog is enjoying a certain caress is easy. Observe his expression and body language. Dogs that are comfortable with the situation remain relaxed. Often, they even seem to be smiling. If the pet gets tense or tries to run away, it's better to leave it alone at that moment or find another way to pet it. And your four-legged friend, where does he most like to receive a massage? Tell us here in the comments.